The Arcturians are a group consciousness extraterrestrial race that is highly evolved and come from the blue planet orbiting the red giant star Arcturus in the Buodes constellation. Arcturus is about 36 light years from our solar system. Astronomers have yet to discover the Arcturian solar system, which is around a system composed of Arcturus and Pleiades. Arcturians are a galactic civilization renowned for their ability to heal instantly. This is possible because they've grasped one concept. They know thoughts become things and have mastered the manifestation ability to do this instantly. Thoughts becoming things is a concept that humans are picking up on in the masses now. Products are entering the marketplace infused with Arcturian healing and they are powerfully effective. The products are profound because the Arcturians have mastered the conscious mind and the energy it controls. They are higher beings working with the evolution of Earth and humanity into the new age, into the realization of oneness, unity consciousness, and in the restoration of harmony upon and within the Earth. This means working toward each of us seeing, feeling, and living in harmony and unity right here and now upon Earth. They have high intelligence and are natural critical thinkers and natural analysts, being very mentally polarized. They appear, therefore, strong and capable, like leaders. Arcturians are well known for their power of healing. This mostly defines what Arcturians are as an amazing race among this galaxy. However, Arcturians are also able to accomplish additional powers through the aid of their mastery of the conscious mind. Many call the Arcturian way the art of the mind, and rightfully so. Their skills and knowledge in working with spiritual energies are immense, and they are capable of helping us with many different aspects of our multidimensional self such as with energetic purification, grounding, soul awareness, and with working in energetic ways with our chakras and light bodies. Arcturians are full of life and are not shy when it comes to receiving attention. They're planners and work hard to fulfill their plans. It is said that some star seeds are not good at expressing emotions except for anger. However, they may fall into a pattern of being angry simply to avoid showing more real emotions. So when one is in a relationship with one, it is necessary to be patient. To more sensitive souls, their power can make them overwhelming to be around, and their need for attention is exhausting. The Arcturians believe in and use their sixth sense. The sixth sense is a direct way to talk with universal energies and entities. Because they are trapped in constantly, they are able to manifest instantly. This means the Arcturians are one with the universe entirely. Arcturus is one of the most advanced extraterrestrial civilizations in our galaxy. The Arcturians Starships The Arcturians work in very close connection with the Ascended Masters. The Arcturians travel the universe in their starships, which are some of the most advanced in the universe. The Arcturian society is governed by what they call the Elders, the Arcturian Central Conclave. These beings are revered by the people of Arcturus for their advanced knowledge, wisdom, and extremely high vibrational frequencies. The higher the vibrational frequency, the closer one is to love and light, the closer one is to spirit. The Arcturians are the most gentle, loving, and non-judgmental beings. There's also no sickness or disease on Arcturus. It was eliminated centuries ago. They are propelled by crystals that do not come from this planet, but from a planet in the Milky Way that has not been discovered by earthly scientists. These crystals have a way of conducting light energy from the great central sun. The Arcturians say that they no longer use computers because they long ago outgrew the need for them. They have other systems, however, that are more advanced. One section of the starship is a replication of Arcturus. It has the ability to take any crew member back to Arcturus in his etheric body. This helps to strengthen and rejuvenate the crew members who are away from home on long periods of time as they traverse the universe. The Arcturians specialize in specific areas of growth and development. This is often predetermined before gestation to the needs and requirements of the evolving civilization. Everyone plays their specialized part, and they function as a whole, where everyone has access to everyone's gifts and abilities. There's no individuality like we experience here on planet Earth, yet everyone fully specializes in their area of expertise and they operate as one being, one entity, one love, one collective consciousness. Arcturians don't eat, but are able to ingest energy. The Arcturians sleep for only a short time once a week, but for them, it is a sacred time to soul travel and connect to higher realms of consciousness. Another room in the Arcturian starship has a complete data bank containing every aspect of Earth life and of life on other planets as well. Arcturians are able to ingest information by means of their telepathic abilities and through their nervous systems. This process is similar to ingesting food, but it occurs on an energy level. 
They are able to assimilate information 100 times faster than the average human being on Earth. An Arcturian starship has a room that strengthens the vibration of all who enter, so they will not be overwhelmed by even the strongest vibrations of planet Earth. The Arcturians are able to travel through time. They also have shuttlecraft that are global in shape, which are used for activating energy points and grids on Earth that have been laying dormant for many centuries. There are starships designated to the collection of endangered species in DNA collection type procedures. These Arcturians are the scientists and explorers. Other starships are assigned to working with humanity upon and within the fallen planets, often as interplane guides and mentors, in education and healing of humanity upon and within the fallen planets regarding the restoration of harmony. These Arcturians are the educators, teachers, and healers. As it is in giving that we receive, the many Arcturians traveling on motherships within this sector and sectors across the universe are also learning, growing, and evolving. And it is part of their education and evolution and ever-expanding specialization to share and give back, to interface and interact, and be of service to the greater plan for the highest good of all concerned, the Galactic Guardians. The Arcturians are the guardians of our galaxy and are helping humanity transcend into the next dimension. Here are a few of the facts that we know about them. When we think of God, we often imagine a single architect responsible for all the known and unknown constructs of the universe. And while this concept is fairly intuitive and plausible at the same time, there is still plenty of room left for other deities or lesser gods in this equation. So before searching for the all-powerful, all-knowing designer of the universe, we first have to go through hierarchies of lesser entities which are governing this Earth and the galaxy. Earthlings have pledged allegiance to many deities over the past millennia, and in exchange for their loyalty, these superior beings have been shaping our evolutionary path accordingly. We now refer to them as aliens, although in the past they had many names and titles. Evidence of their otherworldly implication is found scattered across the entire globe, although mainstream beliefs fail to credit their deeds directly. The alien hierarchy determines the level of influence each species is allowed to exert. There is, of course, the battle of good and evil dividing the camps, but most aliens abide by the rules and stick to their part of the bargain, constrained by fear of holy wrath that can be cast upon them by the more evolved alien species. Just like the story of the fallen angels from the Book of Enoch that had been cast away in Tartarus after wreaking havoc on Earth. Today we're talking about the Arcturians that are taking care of the Milky Way galaxy. They have transcended to the fourth and fifth dimensions and have developed etheric bodies able to pierce through time and space. The one who made known to us this benevolent species of evolved aliens is Edgar Cayce, the most renowned psychic of the 20th century, also known as the Sleeping Prophet for his accurate psychic readings of the afterlife, as well as his ability to find remedies to people's illnesses. After communicating with the Arcturians telepathically, Cayce was bestowed with precious knowledge about their origins, nature, goals, and ideology, which he further shared with the rest of the world. These masters of the galaxy are the most evolved life form around and have ascended to the fifth dimension due to their spiritual advancement, and because of their otherworldly intellect, they have fully mastered technology. Although they have fancy starships, they often reside in a spiritual plane and can freely move between other dimensions. They are the healers of this galaxy, with love being the centerpiece of their philosophy. They are guided by their elders who have the highest level of spiritual advancement. During their lifetime, which is typically between 350 to 400 Earth years, they constantly enhance their spirit to ascend to other levels of existence far surpassing our imagination. So, what do these evolved alien beings look like? They range from 3 to 4 feet in height, with bluish-green skin tone, and the classic broad oval eyes. They have just three fingers per limb and can do wicked things using just their minds. That's about their natural form, but since they are masters of the Milky Way galaxy, they can shift to their etheric state when transiting between realms. During their lives, they undergo a powerful spiritual journey. They protect Earthlings from other harmful ETs and are preparing us for the leap into the fourth dimension, which comes as a result of sufficient spiritual development, a feature tremendously ignored by modern-day humans. Arcturians don't normally feed like Earthlings do, but instead devour all forms of positive energy. They have the most advanced intellect and remain the most caring and loving species of ETs. They come from the Buodes constellation, from a planet that's yet to be discovered by 
our astronomers. They harness the energy of their star, Arcturus, the third brightest star in the observable night sky just after Sirius and Canopus. The Arcturians can be viewed as our evolved selves, since any human is believed to be able to ascend to these higher states of existence. Due to this, Earthlings are deemed as proto-Arcturians, meaning that we are able to reach the same Arcturian state if we survive long enough and go through all the spiritual trials. They have established a close connection with the Ascended Masters, or the Brotherhood of the All, and they are responsible for helping juvenile species in the galaxy to experience unbiased, divine, and godly connections. Their technological advancement far surpasses anything designed by human hands. They have some of the most advanced advanced starships in which they travel and patrol the galaxy. Foul alien species have less chances of producing harm when the Arcturian protectors are nearby. In one of their ship's sections, they keep a portal connecting any crew member depleted of powers to their source star Arcturus. During this process, they travel in their etheric form and undergo nourishing procedures which bring their powers to full capacity. Another section holds a digital library comprising data about all planets in the Milky Way and the life forms populating them. Although they are organic beings just like us, they can assimilate and process information at least a hundred times faster than Earthlings. For them, having such broad access to information is truly a delight because they enjoy information just like humans enjoy a fat hamburger. There's also a room on their vessels which amplifies their vibration in order to withstand Earth's unstable vibration field. The Arcturians have built bases on our planet, particularly in secluded mountainous regions, but also on the surface of the moon. From these strategic points, they carry important operations where they revitalize Earth's energy points that have gone inactive. Through channeling, they have reached the star seeds of this planet and have enabled the spiritual growth process for human beings. The Arcturians have expressed their sympathy toward us and are committed to linking us to the divine source of energy from which all our powers spring. These masters of the galaxy are maintaining order and preaching universal love. Because of their position at the top of our galactic hierarchy, they are only able to intervene in our evolutionary process by sending us telepathic guidelines. It's up to us to interpret these messages and steer our lives in the right direction. However, various other malevolent alien species are also interfering with Earthlings, all wanting their cut of the share of what humans have to offer. And if you're wondering what that precious resource is that these aliens want, well, it's our vital energy from which they feed, because the parties opposing the Arcturians are all vampiric entities. The dormant state in which humans are found now has turned them into unsuspecting prey for vile aliens. But since our vital energy is derived from the source, we are able to overcome all forces of evil, but only if we join the forces with the Arcturians who want to guide us safely to the light and eventually into greater existential realms. But how do we know all this? Well, over the centuries, many people have met aliens on Earth, and from abductions to legends and myths, we can create a picture that tells us the truth. It's up to each of us to pick a side. Our opinion finally of the Arcturians' alien race is this. They are very friendly and very helpful and always have interesting and complimentary channelings. You shouldn't get bored reading their stuff. They may have a slight tendency to talk about hybrids at times, not so interested, but maybe for some reason they want hybrids with humans and who knows, maybe one day some humans will want to do that too, so no judgment on that. If you ever get offended by something they say, and I bet you will, keep going back for more because assuredly they didn't actually mean for you to be offended. They are polite, excited beings who think carefully about what they say and really are into this earth stuff. There's something cute about them too. I I wouldn't say childlike, but flavorings of that. They strike me as a little impish. They remind me of really smart imps, whatever those might be. And if they go on and on about their intelligence, just bite your tongue, because they're probably right about it. I know, I said it. But once you get used to their ways, they won't let you down. They're always happy, and they have a nice energy. Almost childlike, but not at all, really. See? If you enjoy this video and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to us and hitting the like button. Feel free to write a comment below and suggest which theory you want to see next. If you'd like to further support this channel, please consider joining. Our membership link will be found in the description box below. We appreciate your support, and as always, thanks for watching.